I am 12 years old. I absolutely love soccer, as you can tell. But um, I, hmm, well, I mean, I like basically soccer is like basically my life, other than my family and um, church. So, I, so basically, basically my daily life. Casey Moultrie. What's your relationship to Olivia? That's a complicated uh, <laughs> answer. <laughs> Obviously, she's my daughter. Uh, my dad is just um, so so big for me. I mean, he's like, I mean, he's like ten different things. He's like a coach. He's a dad. He's an agent. He's a a lot of different stuff. But he's he's a big role model for me. Just like just um, the way, even just when he plays at the gym, just the way he competes and just. Just like, I like seeing that, just to kind of be able to mimic that when I'm playing. Was there any moment that stood out as the the moment where you could tell that she's going to be a special player, that there's a little bit something different about her than the other players? Yeah, actually, um, when she was seven, when she was seven, she was a club called Golden State Academy in Pasadena. And we played a year there where she played a year up and two years up on teams. And it was during that time where even playing two years up and we're playing some tournaments against some of the best teams in the state. And we were very naive to everything at this point. We were just kind of like, we didn't know what good was, what good clubs were or anything. We just, you know, she was pretty good. We were looking for competition. And I remember her playing a game two years up. So she's seven playing against nine year olds. And we're playing somebody, Surf or Blues, one of these just kind of big powerhouse clubs in Southern California. And I just very distinctly remember having a moment on the ball against, you know, a player that we looked at and oh my gosh, this is one of the best nine we've ever seen. And, you know, Olivia, it was something simple. It was just she took off hard and just pulled her back or just something with the sole of her foot, just kind of lost the kid and calm, calmly relaxed, let the kid come back, beat her again. And I just kind of looked at my wife and thought like, wow. What is the purpose of this trip to Europe for Olivia? I think multifaceted. I think the first thing, what prompted the trip was us just kind of looking at the environment that, that she's in every day and asking ourselves, like, is there something more? Like, is there something more in terms of professionalism that would be offered from some of these big multi-billion dollar European clubs like a PSG or a Bayern Munich? We wanted to know and understand, like, does their infrastructure yield a greater training environment for her to develop faster and, and meet her goals? I think that was number one. I think the second thing was, is we wanted to expose some of these clubs to her. I think the truth is, is we've kind of concluded that if she's going to be a professional at 15 or 16 years old, if that is to happen, if that if that's if that's where this goes, it's going to have to probably be in Europe for, you know, I would think, just considering just the structure and the system of how things are in the States. So I think our ability to come out here and get exposure to these clubs, but also give them personal exposure to her. You know, they they, they, they know who she is and they've seen videos and it seems like she's been on their radar to a certain extent, but them now getting to see her live, I think, is change the dynamic. I think it's up the ante for all of us. And so um, I think really, you know, those are the, those are the two big ones, I would say, behind why we came. Okay. Bella, she's going to bring the white and black. Tell Wendy! Tell Well, I kind of like to get my shirts first and then do shorts. Okay, get all the t-shirts you want to take. Okay. T-shirts or jerseys. How many t-shirts does she need? Is that good enough? <laughs> so, pass that. Oh, there's Gaffel Tower. <laughs> and why? Why? I can't get too many fighters. Like that. Thank you. 
Bell, you better smile. It's the only one. I love um, being with my sisters one more, a lot. Smile. Um, and um, being here, we've gone a lot of sightseeing together. It's been fun. Uh, um, but that's kind of it. I mean, I find so much stuff to do just competitive-wise. <laughs> it's basketball with my sisters, or soccer with my sisters, or even on the trampoline, something competitive with them. Uh, well, uh, my two sisters are hilarious. And um, they're extreme, like, they're so sweet. I mean, they just always want attention. So sometimes I have to give that to them. <laughs> <laughs> it's been um, a, like very like eye opening because um, especially at PSG playing with uh, the U16 girls because. Um, it's a lot faster than I expected it would be, and it's it's good. Like I like it. Like it's like nice, quick play, and they like it's very like they understand like the little things, like one twos and like different runs, and it's been um it's been really fun. Like it's been able to be extremely competitive. So. It was great being in that environment with all um, seeing the pro practice, the women's pro practice, seeing their stadium, just everything. Um, it's like. And the gear, obviously, it's so cool being able to, like, you're, like, treated like a pro, and it's cool to be able to see, like, this is what they get every day. It was really cool. Um, I really like training with the boys. Mm -hmm. it, it was good. Um, so it, everyone's extremely competitive. It was, it was great. How many is that? Uh, I'm at 12. And how has Munich been so far? Munich has been great. I mean, even though it's only been a light session so far, um, it's nice to see, like, the coaches. I mean, the facilities are, like, they're amazing. <laughs> like, it's crazy. Um, I mean, it's been so cool to see everything. Like, if, like, to train in this, like, every day would be. I think I've been able to just, um, in moments, and, like, Especially when we play, I think I've been able to show just me attacking the defense, getting shots, being able to beat people, um, staying calm on the ball. I think I've been able to show that really well. And I'm excited to show that with Bayern Munich too. Uh, what do you hope to get out of the rest of your time on this trip? Um, I would say um, uh, excited to see the team I'm going to be training with and see the level that they play at every day. And I hope to just be able to keep improving, playing at a faster pace and just absorb it all right now because it's definitely gonna be different when I go back. And um, just being able to 
um, just keep getting better and keep showing that to Everything you do, okay. everything. I don't give a shit if it's the warm up, I don't give a shit if it's a passing girl, I don't give a shit if it's shooting, hit everything hard, do everything urgent, do everything fast, do everything like a pro. No time for fucking around thinking, right? It's just walking, urgent, everything. Everything, right? There's no time for anything other than your urgency to show through. Mm -hmm. In the end, your level is going to be good enough to be the best player on the field. Your hunger and your confidence and your aggressiveness and your assertiveness is all that matters in situations like this. That's it. You've got everything else. Hunger, confidence, aggressiveness, assertiveness. That's it, right? If you take care of those things, it's going to be, you are going to show who you are and what you are at all times, right? What's your dream as a player? Uh, I want to be the best player in the world. Being one of the best players in the world, obviously you would hope and expect to play in a Women's World Cup. Yeah. So do you have any message that you could maybe give to yourself in the future when you're getting there ready, ready to play in the Women's uh, World Cup? Well, I mean, I would just tell myself to, like, don't be nervous. I mean, you're, you're here for a reason, so just go, go be you.